This is just going to be a quick demo on how to use R Markdown in R Studio. Um, so you can see I've got R Studio open here, uh, and so I'm just going to start uh, by opening up a new file and writing a little bit of R Markdown. Okay, so you can go up to the menu here, uh, and there are a couple options here, but we're going to choose an R Markdown file. And the first thing you'll see is this menu here uh, that'll ask you kind of what your default output format is going to be. So it will start out; it will have the HTML option pre-selected, uh, and that's usually where you're gonna, what you're going to want to go with. If you choose PDF or Microsoft Word, you're going to have to install other outside tools uh, to, in order to process those formats. So I'm just going to create a title here. I'll call it uh, my first Markdown document. And uh, uh, you don't have to put the author in, but I, I can. I will. And then you can just hit OK. So now you've got um, a Markdown document here in our studio. And I'll, let me just close this window here. To, and you can see that it pre-populates the document with a little bit of text. Um, so the first thing we'll do, um, which is simple enough, is I'll just uh, hit the knit HTML button to see what happens. Uh, and you can see that it creates um, this uh, HTML document in its own viewer here. And I move it over here, you can see that um, it, the text is rendered uh, in HTML. There's code here in the gray boxes. Uh, so you're summarizing the cars data set, which comes with R. It gives you the output for that code. And since the, there was a plot made, um, you can uh, put the plot, the plot will just appear here at the bottom. So you get this nice HTML document that's generated from uh, your your code that's written in this in this Markdown document here. Now this is obviously not going to be uh, the, the the text that we want to present. So the first thing you probably need to do is to kind of delete what's automatically populated here from the, by default. So you can keep the stuff up here in the top in the preamble, um, but we'll delete everything else after that. Okay, so now that we've gotten all this boilerplate text out of the way, uh, we can start creating our document. Um, but before we do that, we probably want to save it first, just so we can we don't accidentally lose anything. So let's click the save button here. And I'll just save it as, um, you know, markdown demo.rmd. Okay, so the document's saved, and I can start writing my text. So maybe I'll just say, you know, this is my first markdown document. Um, and so the first thing you often want to do when you're in an analysis, probably load and summarize some data, do a little exploratory analysis. So um, let's load data. And you want to open a code block with the three back ticks. It's going to be an R code block. And I'm just going to load the air quality data set that comes with R. So you can load the data sets um, package uh, and then load the air quality data set. And just, I'm going to summarize it just very simply. Uh, then we can close the code block like that. So that's our first uh, R code block. And, um, and we, let's see what uh, this looks like when we knit it. So we can click the knit button here. And you can see, first of all, that it saves the document and then it, it runs knitter on it. You can see I've got my title, I've got my text here, uh, I've got my code block over here. And then this is the summary of the, of, the, of the data set. You can see that for each column of the data, of the data frame, it produces a little five number summary. Okay, so, um, so that's great. And we can close this here and continue working. So maybe let's do a little bit of exploratory analysis. Maybe we want to visualize some of the data. So um, we can make a Paris plot or sometimes called a scatter, a scatter plot matrix. So um, you know, here's a Paris plot of the data. Uh, again, we open the code block with the three back ticks. I can very simply just do pairs um, on the air quality. Um, and then we can run that. So notice that I didn't have to do anything special to create a plot. Uh, I just, uh, just call the plotting code. Uh, and then I can knit the document. And you can see now I've got the pairs plot here down at the bottom. Uh, and it shows the kind of pairwise scatter plots of all the variables uh, in the data set. And then lastly, we might want to fit some sort of regression model to, to kind of see if we can predict, for example, ozone from, let's say, solar radiation, uh, wind, and temperature. So um, let's put that in the document too. So here's, oops, excuse me. of ozone. So we could open the code block one more time. Uh, and I'll call this, I'll say, um, I'll do a linear model of ozone on solar radiation, um, wind, and temperature. Uh, the data comes from this air quality data frame. Um, 
And then we can summarize the fit to see what the regression coefficients look like. So I can knit the, data, the document one more time. Uh, you can see I've got the summary of the data up here. I've got the pairwise scatter plots down here. And then finally, I've got my code for the linear model. I can summarize it down here. And it summarizes the, the linear model fit down here at the bottom. And you can see that these all these uh, predictors are all highly associated with the outcome ozone. Uh, so the model is uh, has some predictive value there. So as you mentioned uh, in the in the lecture on our markdown, there are other things you can do. For example, you can create an unordered list um, by just uh, using uh, either asterisks or any sort of delimiter to indicate the, the kind of the bullets of the list. So you know here's um, item one, oops, uh, item two. You can create an ordered list. Uh, just by using numbers, um, excuse me. And so our markdown is really useful uh, for very quickly and very simply uh, creating documents. And with the addition of, of the R code, you can nest uh, your written text with code and output that kind of uh, that, that runs your data analysis, so you can have everything in a single document here. So all of this is really easy to do in R Studio. So I encourage you to open up R Studio, set, uh, create your first R Markdown do document, uh, at, at, and put a little text, put a little code in, uh, and take a look at how it works.